kind of uh, physical um, contact playing. So I, I will really be interesting and um, I tend to Colombia from uh, where I put would put my money, but um, you're going to put your money in Colombia. Yes, okay. I would put my money in Colombia, but Return Peru brought me beer, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you're I'm going to I'm travel I'm with them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> really difficult situation for me, and I love the um, Czech guys. It's it's amazing their game and their the fun they have on playing. It's really yeah brothers in heart um, so huh, I'm curious I, I really want to see this game now because I cannot really identify the the way these two teams will react with each other do we have uh, Czech fans uh, in the audience tenemos a colombianos en uh, la audiencia que ya hace ya están hace 15 minutos conectados y me, me colapsan el chat, chicos. A ver, vamos. ¿Cuánta gente de Colombia está mirando? ¿Qué hora es en Colombia? And what about the Czech fans? Are you watching from home? How many people are there online? We have about 200 people. Um, In the last so All together? Mm, yes, yes, yes. So people In tell between, us, what is, what is your guess? Um, if you're neutral as we are, what is your estimation for this game? What, what are you facing here? In the you're asking me or you're asking the people? Uh, no, the people, the audience. What is the... Um, it, it, it's, it's not a... Um, uh, who's better or worse? No, but how, it's gonna, how the dynamics what gonna be, yes. right? What do you guess will happen when these two teams meet now? I really have no idea because um, <laughs> I think, if I remember correctly, in the past years when um, the Colombian team had to play against um, against um, God, uh, the Czech Republic, I remember that they had a hard one because yes. they couldn't go through so too, yeah. but it was Denmark yeah. too yeah and I think this uh, that that's the thing uh, um, like I said uh, Colombians can play fast but the 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 Peruan players are when they they bunker in when they they defend massively and this is gonna be One interesting minute. how One Colombia minute. with a fast play try to break open the defense and if what happens if Triton Baroon breaks through and goes for the counter attack. I think the, the uh, time of ball possession will be more on the side of the Colombians, but I'm not sure what will happen here in the end. Are you excited, Lorena? I'm so yes. excited! Oh, let's just get excited! I am really... I'm ready too. Uh, here we go! To this game. All right, Colombia almost uh, the same time at the ball. Triton Baru in ball possession. Really fast game we are seeing here going forward to the Colombian basket. And it's a little bit chaotic here. One on one fights. And uh, you see both teams are uh, testing each other. Ah, and Colombia is coming attacking. to the basket of the Triton Baru team. Nice play, but uh, th we are on the open side and the Colombians do their usual back and forth game, but they didn't succeed that much. Oh, that was, was almost that was the first goal. They're coming one after Wasn't the other. In? I mean, it's non-stop. That was really Passing close. The ball, yeah, because the goalie was alone and they were attacking from the bottom and the Colombians can be good on that. Uh, However, the defenders are doing a great job from Triton Berum. Yep, uh, don't uh, underestimate their counterattacks if they break through um, with their really solid playing style. But here, Colombia is, is just a little bit ahead, it's a little bit faster on the ball, checking and going in. Here on the other side, the open side, it's, it's really burning here. There's really fire under the uh, basket of the uh, Czech Republic. But they it's resolved really it and break through. Yes. yes, really physical. Yes. We have, I mean, the Czech guys are big guys. 
Uh, <laughs> and yeah, they are used I with like this to contact. Them yeah. the <laughs> it's, they are used to this contact playing. Yeah. The Colombians too. I think there there is no um, hesitation here. But nevertheless, that's a different style, and it's uh, amazing. Now we see Triton Baru for the first time on the Colombian basket, and uh, Triton player tries to be in the corner. Colombia takes it slow right now, and now we see the. Colombian starting their forechecking attack on the Trichon Peru players. I think they, yes, uh, ball back again. How fast they switched, did you see that? How fast they went from the one side into the defense mode and already they are on the, on the basket of the Czech Republic and putting pressure onto it. It's not, no hesitation there. They really go and attack. What happened? Sorry, what did I miss? I was away for a few minutes. Ah, hold on. Attack equipment, blue free throw. So it's a free throw for the Colombians because the uh, uh, Czech player attacked the equipment. It's, it's so fascinating to see how uh, Colombia is dealing with um, the Czech Republic game. It's, it's testing, it's like looking, where are the weak spots, where can we go in, back and forth. Oh, that was nice, almost intercepted by Triton Baroon. Don't underestimate them, even if you have this, this effortless play here of, of the Colombians. Uh, the Baroon player are up for it, and that was an attack on the open side on the head of the uh, goalkeeper. Didn't succeed. Still the ball is in the... Oh, that is the score! Wow. That was, that was the just that broke open the, the defense and put so much pressure in that there was no defender under the basket and uh, the player from Colombia pulled up uh, the Triton Baroon goalkeeper and pushed the ball in. Amazing. Fantastic game. Yes, I'm... I'm uh, wow. That was really... About it, has, it took four, almost four minutes to score. I mean, and, and the... the and it's not over yet. The Czech, no, in ball no, no. Possession. the Czech team has done. Ah, this this fighting in the middle, call holding uh, from the referee, holding. call from the referee holding without ball. Blue free throw. Dangerous holding. situation now. Blue free throw free from throw. the uh, Colombians. They execute really fast. Uh, so they don't give uh, the, the opponent team time to re-establish uh, their dominance on their own basket. And back again on the three-turn Baroon basket, uh, under pressure from the Colombians, pushing in from above, from the side. You don't see who's, in the, who's holding the ball and another goal. Amazing. I, I wow, that went quickly. Seven. Wow, I wouldn't seven. have thought um, it's so four. fast for the Colombians. Look at this, how, how they are going in massively. And um, I would have thought it would be more difficult for the Colombians here to, to score and break their way into the defense of Triton Baroon. So 2-0 lead after five minutes. This game is still open, but it's now definitely in favor of Colombia. Yeah, they're really um, having the control of, of yeah. the game a little bit more, but let's see. And they uh, don't allow Triton Baroon to put pressure on the basket. Again, the uh, ball snatched away back and forth. Colombians are in ball possession going forward. All right, let's see. And uh, even this Colombian, Colombian player attack, was yeah. be has been beholden by a Triton Baroon player and was still swimming forward. Fede passing through a bit, but Let's see. Um, they are trying to 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 attack, but well, I mean, uh, Trito Marum is doing a great job, and they just pass from one side to the other, almost in the nose of the goal here, and it's really complicated to see. I think it's Fede fighting with the defender, uh, and now the next uh, Orca player trying to recover the ball. It's, um, yeah, this side of the of the pool depend uh, sometimes gets too dark, but now it's better. And we can't see the ball; it's just above 
the goalie of uh, the Czech uh, team. It looks like there's a cluster of uh, yes. players fighting on the surface. Was the call from the referee? No. Blue number four, ah, yes. warning, attack equipment, white free throw. So okay. free throw for Triton Barun against uh, Colombia. Para el equipo blanco de la República Checa, ya que parece que uno de los chicos de Orca atacó el equipo. I'm just repeating what Wolf is saying in English and Spanish, okay? All right. So I'm not, I'm not saying anything that you are not hearing. You're getting the same treatment. <laughs> A ver. Uh, Triton now Colombia. Barun tries to break through the forward checking defense of the Colombians, but they, they are really under pressure and they cannot establish any kind of uh, attack pattern because they are interrupted really fast. Ball is uh, on the ground and here we go. Colombia is coming from above into the La verde basket area. Dani, por el lado abierto. Wow, these passes are so effortless and Están so fast. La de un Whoa, lado and I said, no wow. Muy bien, el equipo de Orcas. I hope we eh, see that in replay. Look, look how he four, passed the ball scored. forward. He pass, passes him back, behind the back. El número cuatro. And he goes in and throws the ball from the top into the basket. And there was, again, a Colombian player on the close side to push the ball finally in. Wow. El número cuatro, Daniel. Dani hizo el gol. So, 3-0, and we have uh, one and a half minute to go in this first half. And uh, Triton uh, really has to put on their gloves, or put off their gloves, and uh, try to get closer to the Colombian basket which is not easy against these uh, omnipresent players from Colombia. A ver, el equipo de Orcas que acaba de recuperar el balón no es fácil contra los checos. Los checos también son fuertes, eh, tiene un juego bastante físico, si bien eh, Orcas está dominando la partida, tienen que tener cuidado porque un contraataque de los checos podría ser también peligroso. Eh, a ver, con tanta burbuja no veo. So I, I'd say this is the first test of Colombia um, in this uh, championship, this Champions Cup uh, 2022. And they, they definitely dominate the game. Y el ataque por arriba, pase wow. para el otro lado. Yes. Y gol. Wow. No sé al final si lo hizo el que estaba intentando pasar el balón. A ver. This, this level of teamwork, if you see it, where the one player Luna comes Mechan. from the, the, the open side and Luna helps Mechan. the other one to score. There's always Pensé two players ready. Oviedo, pero no, vale. Él estaba tratando de apoyar a, al, al, que, a, al que venía con el balón. Así es. Okay. And Trishan Barun is going back here. Half time. And half time. Half time. Um, wow. Bueno, eh, wow in every direction. 4-0 para Orcas. Um, ahora estamos en el tiempo de 3 minutos para cambiar de lado. Y bueno, o sea, Orcas con un equipo fuerte, moviendo muy rápidamente el balón, recuperándose eh, de, lo, de los ataques de, de, de los checos, o sea, tienen completamente el dominio, tienen un juego muy rápido, si bien los checos tienen un juego muy físico, eh, no están pudiendo reaccionar a la velocidad, ¿no? I'm saying that, uh, that Orcas has a speed, that even though Triton Berum is, has a physical game and, and they're good, I mean, the speed that uh, yeah. Orcas yeah. Uh, it makes the, the Triton Berum players dizzy, they don't know yes, anymore, yes, eventually yes. they're completely lost. And, and I think, and I now remember, I talked to the Triton players last time and th they told me they play you dizzy. Th I think that's exactly yeah. what they say, because it's just like, yes, we are experienced, yes, we know the game, yes, we can play contact, but, but this is just... They make at, the at, at, like yeah, they're they they uh, a, 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 a little bit too fast to follow them throughout 
an attack throughout this pressure because you have to deal with your air, you have to deal with your position, and you have to follow the ball. And this is just, uh, yeah, a little bit too much. Amazing uh, game, Incredible. but also from Triton Baroon because 4-0 uh, is not that bad for the first half, and they fought hard. But you can see the exhaustion and the level um, of. Uh, you see, do you think demand. that the team is already exhausted yeah. or what? Well, Triton Baroon, they look a little bit like, wow, what is happening? I yeah, I think they look a little bit dizzy more than exhausted yeah. yet. At um, Colombia, ¿cómo vamos? 4 a 0 para el masculino de Orcas. Okay. Viene ahora, se viene el segundo tiempo, queda menos de un minuto. Los chicos de Orca dominando el partido, sin embargo tienen que tener cuidado porque los checos son fuertes, eh, tienen bastante juego físico, entonces si se descuidan con un ataque pudieran hacer un gol. Sin embargo, 4 a 0, o sea, están ya bastante adelante, el marcador está bien, podríamos decir que seguramente ganan el partido, pero en estos juegos de la Champions nunca hay que relajarse porque las cosas pueden cambiar. Um, Our, uh, Chatbot is back again. Six players, please. Yes. Look. Okay, so, a ver, cinco segundos para que comience el segundo tiempo. Estamos Colombia presente. Teams ready. So, Triton, Verun. Let's see what you have in store for the Colombians. And it, it, I, I have to admit, there's a lot we talked about yesterday with Samuel, the head coach of the Colombians, what they execute here in this game. Of these, uh, you have the tools and you use them the best way that is possible for each of you as a team. Amazing how it is transmitted. Sí. El equipo de Orcas presionando sobre el arco del equipo checo. El equipo checo acaba de recuperar el balón. Rember ahí intentando recuperarlo, ofreciéndose. No podemos ver qué está sucediendo, quién está peleando por el balón, pero sí, bueno, ahí cae el balón y el equipo checo lo recupera, sin embargo no está siendo fácil para avanzar. El equipo de Orcas que va presionando y va cortando en cada, cada azulejo. No. Uh, <laughs> really good game here from really Triton now for the, to for hold the on to the ball. Yeah. To advance. It, I mean, like it, it to see to see how much concentration it costs them to to hold on to the ball with these constant attacks chaotic. from all sides. Yeah. They are not really. I mean, they are reacting to the yes. rhythm of the Colombian. That's always a disadvantage. They, I mean, they it, try it, to it hold on to the ball and not playing. It's están reaccionando a la, a la velocidad y al tipo de juego de Orca y eso siempre Call from the referee on the surface Hold down, siempre es un Blue number seven Hold down Hold down, number seven Right free throw Blue number seven Para quien? Para quien es el free throw? For whom is the free throw? For the blue Ok, el número siete means Marek He got just uh, bit of a, uh, a warning and that were free throw for Orcas un tiro libre para Orcas aparentemente uno de los jugadores del equipo checo y gol para Orcas <laughs> me tocó un terminar un, una oración que ya se hacen un gol I cannot even finish a sentence and that they do a uh, sport but again Triton is playing very good um, I see them sí. uh, doing doing everything you have to do um, and they do it right but nevertheless Yes. That that's the point. No, no, the Nevertheless. 5-0 for Orcas, 5-0 para el equipo de Orcas masculino que está jugando en azul. Lo pueden ver en, en la pantalla. Cada equipo está escrito en el color que, que tienen. Y bueno, ahora tenemos al equipo checo en la esquina intentando empezar a hacer algún tipo de ataque. Eh, todavía en posición del balón. Eh, so it looks like Colombia is uh, putting out a little bit of speed in their attacks um, when Triton is holding the ball, but uh, yeah, they're a little bit more waiting. 5-0 lead is quite solid. You don't have to risk anything. And they are staying in the corner of Triton Baroon. 
And as long as Street and Maroon leaves them there, they are taking their time. Back and forth, waiting for a possibility, waiting for a chance to go in if they have, but they don't have to. It's, they are just probing, just testing. Here back again, keeping Trish and Baroon occupied. The time is ticking in their favor. They're playing back and forth yes, right in front of Triton. Orcas is not a team that's going to just uh, hold to the ball and wait. They don't care about it. They will try just to keep the rhythm and try to keep attacking the same way if they would be like 0 0. Like, um, see those uh, passes. I mean, they're, they keep the balloon almost like. I mean, yeah. they almost don't grab it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like a, a uh, balón. Esto es muy diferente del tipo de manejo de balón que se hace aquí en Europa, donde normalmente se sostiene un poco más, se tiene el, la, la pelota no tanto tan ahí suelta, y sin embargo, termina cayendo siempre en la mano de los colombianos. They, they are really playing with the ball. It's really... Oh, wow. and then Amazing. really fast counter-attack on the empty uh, goal. It yeah, was Daniel. out of the middle of the, the pool. Triton Barun is planning uh, to counter attack. And the, the, wow. the switch, like I said before, the switch from uh, defense Time to attack out. happens no, so fast. Time out. Then the swimmers Why? are so fast, it's just impossible to, to react. And Triton Barun, the Czechs who acaban de pedir un tiempo fuera para bueno a ver si se pueden reorganizar no they probably yeah, have first to get, brief get their stuff together and try to regroup and see what can they do so that they are a little bit more um, I get dizzy to look at the game mm. I I, yes. don't, I mean I, I don't have the speed enough in my words to, de to describe yeah. the situation and it's a score so and, imagine and, when and I I I I'd say if you ask the Triton Baroon guys so what do you think about this game and they would say they were really good so it's it's just they are the, uh, Colombians are in this game. Uh, I have to say the better team. Yes, yes. They but are. Triton is a top team. We saw yes. them playing today, and and they are solid. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> Colombians are. Yeah. They are. Um, well, Triton Verun play against Firenze and against uh, Switzerland. Um, and they were like the, the they were dominating those games. So. Um, but as we were discussing yesterday with Samuel, uh, they are training in, in a completely different level. There are, they, I mean, already a master in technique and a master in tactics, and now they're going for the decision-making process. This is what Colombia is working right now by training. So I think it's, it's very, very interesting. We all can watch a little bit into the direction of Colombia and learn uh, a little bit from them. A ver. El equipo de Colombia, vamos a ver si con este minuto que se tomó el equipo checo quizás pudieran reorganizarse un poquito, respirar un poco y reorganizarse y ver cómo pueden eh, responder al, al, al juego de orcas. Eh, vemos que ahora por lo menos están manteniendo el balón en la esquina, sin embargo el equipo de orcas acaba de recuperar el balón, están por empezar un contraataque, Federico con el balón. Tenemos uh, dos más, le andan tan rápido que no puedo ni leer Pacho, no puedo ni leer los nombres. Um, y ya tenemos a tres, a cuatro, moviendo el balón de una forma. En esta triangulación siempre hay un triángulo, uno en el medio, dos adelantados, pero están en diferentes planos. Y, y la verdad que eso marea muchísimo. Four okay. and a half attack. minutes left, and Triton is in ball possession, zooming in on the Colombian basket. With a little bit of distance, looks like a respect distance. And now they're trying it uh, from the corner, from the close side, to move in. But they, they find not a spot. They're holding on to the ball, waiting till they regroup. But being pushed constantly more farther away from the basket. And now this happens, uh, uh, interception of the ball from the Colombian player. Recovered by Trishan Bruin, back in Colombian hands. And the, the switch, bang, back again. And he tried again uh, to throw the ball, but uh, didn't succeed. By the way, they trained that, uh, the, the Colombians. Yes. So when they start in during the training, they start doing like 10, 15 minutes, and then they, they swim with the ball and they throw. Like it would be like basketball, let's say. Yeah. To learn in which angle uh, it can go in. And the last game, when they won against, um, the first time they won, they, one of the goals from Samuel Gaviria was like this, throwing it against uh, um, Bamberg when, yes. when it was the yes. final. Anyway, um, let's see. 
how uh, Triton Berun can maybe recover and try to, they're, they are now fighting for the ball, they recover it in the middle of the pool, uh, holding without ball, free throw for... Holding, blue free throw. For Orcas. Holding, bueno, blue free eh, throw. Agarrar sin balón, y entonces eh, tiro libre para Orcas, que ya está tratando de... Eh, comenzar el contraataque, tenemos dos jugadores acercándose la, creo que era la verde um, Samuel bueno, están ahí pasándose en esa triangulación, I was saying that they do like this triangle, right? and yes. then they are in different uh, altitudes ah, no, 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 it's, it's just the, the, the triangle goal, is so goal fast by number 99 99 la verde. Juan José La Verde. He's, I think, one of the youngest players. Yes. He was, wasn't he playing in the um, uh, World Championship of uh, Youth in... Uh, uh 2019 or 2018, something yes. like this. Yes. And he changed into the, the, yeah. the main team, into the A team then. And is one of the really important think, players yeah. there. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so uh, we have the Czech team trying to get the, the ball and start an attack. They are very close to the uh, basket of Colombia, but Colombia just recover or at least... Two minutes play. each, white number five, blue number wow. ten, two minutes. Two uh, white time, time on. blue ten, Simon two Diaz minutes each. And Leos, Aaron, uh, they both Two time get penalties uh, for uh, each time player. Out, blue. Time so out, they got blue. penalty times, both. A ver, les dieron tiempo fuera. Uh, Simon Diaz. And a timeout for blue. Uh, Leos, uh, now we will start with the referee board. Uh, yeah, ahora, Interesting. Uh, it's a, a double time out. Uh, uh, two minutes, one white, one blue. I don't know what happened. For roughing. roughing. And we'll start okay. with the referee ball. Roughing. Okay. Aparentemente estaban como luchando un poco ahí. So they played agua. too hard. Playing, sí. Jugando como muy duro. Entonces, bueno, les dieron dos eh, penalidades. Dos minutos a cada jugador. Y eh, van a empezar con una pelota yeah. que uh, de referee la tira. Stay on your sides, please. Cada Wait for tiene my estar, signal. Tiene que estar en su mitad. Y cuando el referee da la señal, tira el balón en el medio de la piscina y bueno, el que la agarra primero. Referee ball. Pues nada, sigue jugando. Ok, team, welcome. Let's start with the referee ball. It's really, uh, if, if you have a, a game that is, that is uh, hot like that, you, as a referee, you have to establish your dominance then. And uh, it looks like um, here the referee decided, okay, this goes too far, we have to break it in and uh, send two players on the, the penalty bench Less than from one each minute team. Left. Queda menos de un minuto, o sea que los equipos van a terminar jugando con cinco cada uno. It's uh, amazing. Federico intentando pasar and el balón. As, no as amazing as I thought it would be, abajo, both Jorge teams. Pacho tratando de atacar o pasarla para el otro lado. No puedo ver Samuel que viene. Y están uno cada lado con ese triángulo. A ver. Wow. And the, the, the fast cerca, move. Pero bueno, muy buena reacción del portero del equipo checo. The goalkeeper really uh, okay. was, was glued bueno, to the basket. Game. Segundo tiempo, siete, siete goles para Orca, cero para Triton Berum. Amazing. Seven. Amazing game. Um, amazing played by Triton Berum and uh, fascinatingly played by the Orcas. Really, really, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, good, uh, good job from Triton Berum. Yes, trying definitely. Trying to keep uh, alive uh, and trying to be in control, but we could see that they knew what we were doing, but just the, 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 the Orcas outsmart them. I just have to yeah. say like that. With, with the intensity Triton Berum played, they would have uh, won almost all the all the other games but not against Colombia so uh, we're li really looking forward to see 
Colombia playing against teams like uh, Molde, Malch. So this uh, gonna Aqua be Quake Aqua also. Quick. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So the next uh, game is gonna be Malch and Aqua the Quick. Finish team, Hemelina. Yes. Uh, we have the to start. The the uh, we, we call we call uh, uh, Hemelina mm -hmm, the team formerly known as Rixu. No. <laughs> um, I don't remember how you say the second part of the Hemelina. I remember that it was yeah. It wow! Was Amazing rugby, and uh, it, it uh, uh, solidifies uh, the the work and uh, the, the knowledge that um, the Colombians assemble. <laughs> Congratulations to Trishan Baroon. There was no hesitation there in their game. They didn't, uh, didn't at, at any time uh, hesitate doing everything they could. So, uh, March uh, Akavik will, will be the last game of the day, isn't it? Uh, no. We still have few. The last, I mean, we have now coming up uh, Utebala against the Lions, then March Akavik, and then Emelina against uh, 